What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we're doing episodes 105 through 108. Very excited to find out what happens with the Alabasta arc, the saga. I know we still have a good amount left on it, but I'm just we're trekking along, making progress. R.I.P. Mr. Three. I was not expecting him to die or go out like that. It's just very interesting. We got the rest of the Misters and the and the Misses all with Crocodile and the and the Rain Cafe Casino type vibes. It's, it's fucking amazing. I am very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for up to one week or eight episodes early access and the full uncut versions. Let's hop right on into it. One Piece, episode 105. Let's do it. All right. Starting off hot with Vivi and the decision being made that she's going to put everyone's lives on the line, not just her own. Heck yeah. <coughs> oh, no more Katoria. We're going to Crocodile. Back to one more day of traveling through this hot ass desert. Does he get more used to the heat? Ah, uh, he's got that extra resolve. All right, that'll be payment. <laughs> that'll be fair payment. We'll give you. Uh, that's that's got to be a thing in One Piece. Oh, we're at back at Katoria. That's got to be a thing in One Piece. That every time Luffy kicks the main guy's ass, we got to give him just a feast of food, just for the celebration and resolution episode. You know, I'm down. Oh, look at this kid. There's always got to be some kid wanting to grow up and join the fight. I always think of fucking uh, Arlong Park, you know. Oh. That guy's shoulder is gone. Mm, that reminds him of a young... Of a young Koza, too. Oh, I kind of like that if I'm a rebel leader. Like, if you're not afraid to fight, you're stupid, you know? Not what we wanted to. That, that's actually some wisdom and experience right there. Shouts out, Koza. It was literally like a reflection of himself. And I, he does not want the same dark, dangerous path to be traveled on by someone else, you know? So far, I'm fucking with Koza. He's a very gray area character. I get where they're coming from, but I get both sides, you know. Okay, I was afraid they're gonna make their own move and try to do some. I know. Chaka and Pell. Oh, the message, Karu. Oh, what is uh, Cobra thinking? What is the message? What does the letter even say? That man, Karu, is drinking water. I'm back in town, daddy. I'm doing what I can. <laughs> Crocodile is a little bitch. I'm about to whoop his ass. Don't doubt it. It is fact. Everything I've written down is a fact. See, this is what I'm curious about. Now that the information is out, everyone knows Crocodile is the good pirate of this area. What are they going to think about this? You know, seeing flashbacks, I've liked you even more, Igaram, so I gotta give you an official R.I.P., my boy. <laughs> I just can't wait until this arc or saga is done and we see them 700 episodes from now, and it's, like, weirdly known that we're friends with the king and princess of a fucking kingdom, Alabaster. That's gonna be so sweet. Throwing mine in there too, baby. Left arm. No hesitation. Okay, Cobra. That is a valid point. I get what he's saying. If we're able to get rid of Crocodile, it really doesn't matter what the Rebel Arby does because we'll be able to fix everything, you know? Of these two arguments, I'm on Cobra's side right now. I gotta give, yep, yep, fully, fully on Team Cobra right now. 
Okay, this is quite the quite the twist. I completely forgot that Karu was fucking pu -pu 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 running a letter over there. So shouts out my boy Karu. Oh yep, yeah. there's the banana gator. God, wait, the episode's over? No, we're only halfway through. I was like, why is it playing this music right now? I was so butter. Okay, good. It was like dun 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 dun. I was like, hell no, it's not over yet. Yes, they do. He literally just told you. They know what we look like. Yeah. And they're in a... That's true. They're an assassination group. That's what their whole company is. Oh, Smoker and Tashigi are here as well. Call it a hunch. Yes, you're right about that, but you don't hear the loud ass motherfuckers to your right. Like, they're still hitting the table. <laughs> I'd be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you see his pupils look to the right. I'm so butter. I'm so butter. He's like, wait, am I seeing things or is that straw hat right next to me? I took some water and just dipped it. <laughs> <laughs> Every city we we go into, they just have the Marines just chasing them. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's fluttered pictures all around of Bon Clay's versions of them. Oh yeah, they know. Everyone knows. That's not good. Let's all meet at the alligator house. We're all splitting up. Smoker's just gonna like float up there. Smoker's so sick, bro. He is so badass. Oh, way to handle smoke, dude. Just expand yourself. Especially until he's solidified. He's still in that smoke gaseous form, you know? <laughs> Smoker's honestly one of my favorite devil fruit users to be right now like i really fuck with this power thankfully it's millions and not billions stuck between the devil and the deep sea huh stuck between a rock and a hard place we're already gonna we're gonna have a sanji spinning kick huh anytime he deals with a group of people he always does spinning kicks and i love him That's one thing, like getting punched by Luffy is one thing. Getting kicked by Sanji just seems like it hurts so much more. I don't know why. I, I like how he disarmed them too versus like killing them. <laughs> Long time, girly. <laughs> yeah, this is the most awkward you could run into. Well, there's no regular... What? Are we cutting him down? Did we? Did I just miss any? I thought we just disarmed him. It really does look like Kuina a lot every single time. He can fight literally anyone that comes on the screen except for Tashigi. I love Zoro. Shouts out Zoro. Yeah, where's Vivi? Oh no, we separated just a second ago. So if we're going to fight Crocodile slash getting into rain dinners this early, does this arc last like 20 more episodes? I thought we still had like 20 more episodes in this in this saga. So I'm just like. <laughs> Go welcome. So Miss All Sunday is going to be our first fight, which after going to end right here. Is it going to end already? After Igaram, I'm just too butthurt, you know, like we might have to whoop Miss All Sunday's ass. We might have to. We might have to. All right, guys, on to episode 106, right where we left off, running into rain dinners. Yeah. 
That was crisp. I love when animes do that, the, the reef sheathing, and then everything falling. Oh, we're not coming in stealthily. We're not coming in smart. We're coming. Oh, no one even cares. We're coming in brazen. No one cares, Luffy. They just want to win money. Come on, man. Ooh, three crocodiles. That's the jackpot. I know. Stop screaming. And now we're about to cause a scene inside this casino. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. So he's the assistant manager. Miss All Sunday is the actual manager. Send them to the VIP room. We're the VIPs. Very important people. Let's go in there. Mm, that is a good little observation from smoker and he's still following us in here is he is smoker gonna be here when we fight crocodile what is his role gonna be in this i'm very curious so they're gonna choose the vips i normally go right over left but that's just me i think most people go right over left they say pirates go to the right it says pirates <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh we don't have chopper or vv oh it's gonna be chopper and tashigi Talk about an interesting team up. Huh? Oh, she didn't even notice him. And now she can't see, and his vision's all <laughs> impaired because of the glasses. He just gets like motion sickness and faints immediately as long as she runs by. Talk about an interesting dynamic. Tashigi has a personal vendetta against Zoro, but now <laughs> she's a dimwit, but now has some nice feelings towards Chopper, you know? <laughs> so I'm just, oh, yeah. You guys are fucking, yep. Wasn't your fault at all. It said pirates to the right. Jesus. Hit him with a sucker baton thing. Does that thing have a name? His weapon? It looks super sick. Does it have like an official name? When he said bomb man, he's, he's talking about Mr. Five, right? Yeah. Sea Prism Stone. Oh, world building. So it drains devil fruit users. So this stone is made out of that? That's actually insane. Yeah. This might be one of the only situations we could beat Smoker, though, is that he doesn't have his smoke powers. Oh, but maybe he still can somewhat. Because his body is still smoke. He just can't really, like, activate it or anything. But here's the man himself. Now they get to actually see what he looks like. As to not arouse suspicion. Damn. You can't even get up with your amount of strength right now. Yeah. Guest of honor? BV. Yeah, this is why we haven't seen BV in a little bit. Ooh. Who's got the flying blicky? I'm trying to think who can fly with a blicky. I can't think of anyone. Wait, that's Pell's? Pell has a devil fruit where he can turn into a bird? That's fucking sick. That has to be Pell, right? Chaka and Pell, one of fucking Cobra's dudes, is the same painting as the outfit. That's actually fucking sick. And he scooped her up. Oh my god, I was not expecting that. Because they were going to rain base too on Cobra's orders. Oh my god. That's fucking sick. Shouts out fucking Pell. Now what is Chaka's power? That's what I need to know. Quite a duck to say the least. Yeah, 
Ooh, he's about to go handle these ruffians. Hell the falcon. Ooh. The bird bird fruit model falcon. So he has his human form. Only five type, really. So he has human form, falcon form. And normally Zoan types have three forms, right? What's his in-between form? Oh. Flying talons. And I've seen some National Geographic videos on Hawks, Talon, or Hawks, Eagles, all of them. Their talons are scary. <laughs> Miss All Sunday. I have not a clue. I'm assuming you have a devil fruit as well, because everyone high up in the Baroque works as well, but I have no idea what it is. But goddamn, those boots with the skirt with the cowboy hat. She is such a baddie. That's how I miss all Sunday. Oh, yeah. Turn up, hell. She is the one who killed Igarum. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a hand through the stomach? I have seen people die of hand through the stomachs. That transformation was quick. Press? Trace? Wait, oh. She wrapped up his wings and like kept his sword sheath so he couldn't. What is her power? She can make hands appear wherever she wants? I need to know the exact. I partook of the flower. Flower. Any body part or just hands? And she means anywhere. So even on other people's bodies, like she just did to him. That's OP. I just want to see her in action. Say, so it's how many hands she pulls out. So six hands, two on the ground, like joke, one on... That's so interesting. She just snapped my guy's spine. She had two arms, two arms, two arms on the feet, and then she just... He's not dead, right? Or is he dead? If she kills Igaram and Pell... Don't, don't play Sandy's theme while you're doing <laughs> I'm so butthurt. I was trying to be serious for a second there and Luffy has to make me laugh. So Vivi is here and Pell is not here. And I'm assuming because they didn't dispose of his body that he had to have died. And I'm actually butthurt. <laughs> She's tunnel visioned right now. The peacock string slasher. Oh, he's like smoker except sand. Now the fight where he's sucking everyone up and drying them out makes so much more sense. I was just shook there. The sand. He's actually perfect for this country. That's OP. He's Gara. He's Gara. I was like, he went through his fucking head. So. When he got stabbed like eight times during the other fight, he just turned out parts of his body into sand. So it just didn't even mess with him at all. God damn, we got we got the sand sand fruit. We got the flower flower fruit. The smoke smoke fruit. And I like how creative they get with his sand powers too. Not only does he just use sand like, like Gara does, but he turns himself into sand. He fucking like Gara does. He can dry you out with the sand, you know? Project Utopia starts right now. It is noon. Is music going on? Come on. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Cobra, Koza, Koza, fucking Toto, come on. Oh, we are getting into some good shit. We are getting into some good shit, to say the least. All right, guys, on to episode 107, next episode of the session. Back with Koza.
雨さえ降れば妙な疑いも晴れるそうさなんてことだもう一年以上ぶっけない Jesus, these people are going through it エルマルはもう終わりだ疑いたくねえが嫉妬は飢えてるあんたが使ってないにせよ I get it when it sucks up the rain of others, you know. I get it. 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 Talk about a cold opening. Alright, especially with Project Utopia just starting. You know, this is gonna get dark, serious. Koza's going through it. Cobra's gone? Where the hell did he go? As a king, Cobra watching his entire nation be sullied and then destroyed from the inside by a crocodile would be some humiliation that's worse than death, in my opinion, to be crazy. He's taking the false blame? Yeah, it, it, how is Toto even going to be able to say don't hold suspicion when he's falsely admitting it, you know? He's saying everything perfectly to get them riled up, which I just need to know why is that his plan? I just don't think this is Cobra, but how would he have like men with him? That's the only thing. I think this is Bon Clay. What is going on? Straight up drop kicking a kid. This is Koza. So was he doing this on purpose to make Koza seem like a hero and a guy people can unite behind and look up to? Or what did Cobra... What did he just say right there? I This might be the most lost I've ever been in a One Piece episode in a long ass time. I can't lie. <laughs> like, genuinely curious what's going on. My man got blickied. You disrespect the king in front of his, you know, royal guard. That is going to happen, but I, what is going on? Has to be Bon Clay. Those have to be billions, and it has to be Bon Clay, because there's no other answer I can think of. Which, in terms of a plan for making the king go down and destroying Alabaster from the inside, having Bon Clay impersonate him and do this shit is a crazy good plan. Oh, Miss One and Miss Double Finger, right? Mr. One, I said Miss One. There's just, there's, 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 it's so OD. It's so extra. Like, I get he wants to destroy Alabasta in its entirety, but god damn. Just extra. And then they just blend in with the crowd, you know? Yes, indeed. That is that boy Bon Clay. 
And they got Koza too. God damn. Where is actual Cobra though? This is horrible. Oh my god. Why is she strutting around like that? So the kid. Yep. The kid is the only one who knows that wasn't the real Cobra. And he was the one who was most anti Cobra just an episode ago. So, like, we need the kid on our side. You have to reveal. Yep. Reveal the truth. Come on, kid. Yes. Shouts out. This That's the worst people you can run into. I want to run into Miss Doublefinger, but for completely separate reasons, you know. What did they just do? Beat the shit out of the kid? Yeah, because Koza sees himself in the little boy, you know. Given full blown, yep, full blown rebellion permission to get things going, which is not good. So, yes, obviously, Crocodile is supplying the rebellion in order to make more strife and battle between them and the, the king, the government. It's so crazy. Such a good plan. Oh my god, look at that army. Imagine the amount of stress and shit that must hit you right there. What is Chaka even thinking right now? You are technically in charge. Make, right? So, technically going against... Technically going against Cobra's words, they're gonna be ready to fight Koza and the rebels. Cobra does not want that fight to happen. If they destroy the palace, let them destroy the palace. But this is a really good play from Crocodile. It's a horrifying plan. And he's I love how he says, I'm gonna tell you about my plan, and then instead of telling us, he just shows us because it's all going down right now. That's well done. Well done. Yeah, everyone is saying that, which is so dark. Everyone's just wanting to survive and have the benefits for everyone but because they don't know they're being manipulated they think you know it's so crazy that's right there love for the kingdom will be what destroys the kingdom so crazy about to say if you can somehow break the sea prism stone you're an... he's gonna squeeze through damn it i get excited Break the chair, or at least get out. I, I was like, "Say, so she have a plan? What's she gonna do?" She's crawling. She's using every last bit of her effort. You know. Uh, this is so rough, man. This is rough, man. Ooh, new ending. Ooh, Vivi and Karu. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Cobra, Chaka, Pell, Igaram, Koza, them as a kid, their whole life. She's gone through so much. I fuck with Vivi. She's a great princess. And then she looks at everyone's gonna help us now, you know, the friends. The travels you've gone along the way. Brocky, Dory, Drum, come on. Okay, I like that. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that ending. All right, on to the last episode of the session, episode 108. This is not looking good. If you can somehow make it out of that prison cell. What do you mean? Oh, she's, he's saying that to Vivi. So you have a choice, Vivi. Either come with him and try to save everyone or save your friends that you've just made. He's dropping the keys. Who's he going to flood the place with water? Is he going to bring the crocodile in here? The banana gator, I should say, specifically. Wait, where was he dropping it? Like in a hole? Or why is it like slow motion? Like That's... Such bullshit. Uh, uh, there's multiple banana gators down there. I thought there was one. That's like a fucking 
Is that just a banana gator leg? Anytime I see the banana gator and how it's animated, I always think of like, where's my water? You know, you ever play that game, guys, on your phone? Yeah, I thought there was just one. How could it even pick something up like that? Genuinely, how? Of course. What are you, a James Bond villain? I swear. Make your decision, Vivi. This is kind of fucked. Crazy. Yeah, that's where you make Luffy piss. You 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 talking about to uh fucking Toto? That's where you make Luffy piss. It was him who was making the specific sandstorms on fucking Yuba, the city, this little town, making Toto go through so much fucking work. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong. We needed to beat Crocodile's ass before, but now with Toto's dignity, honor, work, life on the line, we might have to kill Crocodile. And now you just made Luffy so pissed. Toto might be the realest one in this whole saga. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this fucking dude. He's a legend. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, Peacock Slasher. He's more worried about you, Crocodile, than himself. No one else here is willing to kick your ass, so if, we're, if we don't get out of here, we, you need to be subbed. That thing is very, very big, to say the least. Very, very large. Which you, you'd think, they'd probably be like a fucking, literally a biter, not even an appetizer to those guys. So it's crazy that they're all waiting. Like They probably don't get a lot of food, though. You gotta bait it to like biting the the, the cell, to get us out of here, you know. Was that the transponder snail? Oh my god! I was like, what the hell is that sound? Sanji. Yeah, it's a mini one. It's like a cell phone. Sanji, the dresser. That Vanessa fly dresser. Ooh, and then it cuts to the Sanji mid card. Okay, that's kind of badass. I can't lie. Now Crocodile is putting everything together. The same person who used the transponder snail in Little Garden is the same one. And he's like, is, is there a fifth I don't know about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Luffy. Shut up. Yeah, I remember Chopper, but I completely forgot Sanji was still out there doing Sanji shit. That Vanessa, that fly dresser. Mr. <laughs> Mr. That's what he called himself when he was talking about protecting Vivi and fucking Nami, Mr. Prince. They got Sanji? He got caught? I was so hyped. I was like, Sandy's got a plan right now. Oh, some sand is flying. Oh, yeah. Wait, did he send his hook arm? Like his hook hand at her as a projectile with the sand as the fuel behind that. That's kind of sick. I didn't realize he could use that as like a projectile because of that. Back of the casino. One of some monies. 
That would be me. I'd be one in mornings. Okay, hey, a little slicer. Climb on him, get back up the stairs. Nice, nice plan. Now the water is going to come in way faster. So that had to have been Sanji, but I thought he got captured. Mr. Prince. I thought they caught him too. He just now headed to the south part. Oh, this is our first time seeing him get somewhat serious, you know? Why is it? Why does his breathing sound like Chopper, though? Is he flying with the sand? The creativity of the Devil Fruit powers in the show has, and I'm sure will continue to always impress me. I would just swim across, even though I know the, the lake is filled with banana gators. I would just be like, yeah, there's got to be. I can make some quick hops or something. Oh, that's smart. He's he, OK, so the bridge is broken. He sent Chopper out there to keep them distracted in his clothes. Meanwhile, he's all in that Vanessa, that fly dresser. Sanji. Hell yeah. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of Koza's glasses. Shouts out to that boy. That was already it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, so we are making some progress. I was expecting, especially because the first person we were going to see was Crocodile, I was expecting the fight to start immediately. And so I was like, how is this arc going to last 20 more episodes? But with some shenanigans going down, ergo, the fight with Crocodile is not going to be immediate. We are having this sort of side thing go down. And then everyone is now re-meeting at Alubarna because that's where uh, Cobra, obviously the royal capital, all that is. Uh, I really enjoyed Crocodile's plan as a whole from the buildup of tension over the years due to the lack of water and the lack of work from Cobra, uh, plus the rebellion building up from Koza, plus his manipulation from the shadows, and then all to finish it off with a weapons, an armory boat crashing into Nanohana mixed with Cobra coming in to admit his wrongs, but also burn the city to the ground while obviously Von Clay being disguised perfectly as him. That's like a genius plan. Like... Your average person who has no idea of the potential of a uh, of Bonnie Clay's powers or any other powers like that, like your average person, me included, is gonna be like, like on the rebellion side. I'm on Koza's side now, you know, because it's like it's, it's it's a rough situation. Shouts out to the kid though for knowing it's fake. I hope he can reveal that in a dope essence. Shouts out to Tashigi and Chopper, the little cute little interaction they had. Shouts out to Smoker being quiet in this cell while he is evaluating and observing the situation. We know Smoker is very smart, powerful, and observative. So I'm hoping from the situation he gathers that Luffy and the rest of the Straw Hats are not bad people. Crocodile is the real bad person and that we are technically saving an entire kingdom and a nation from the outcome of this. So I hope when all this is said and done, I, I, I think he's still going to be an antagonist to us. But I think he's going to have a newfound level of respect for us, you know? And I'm very excited by that. Really enjoying Smoker, Tashigi as characters. Crocodile is a great villain. Sand Power, super interesting. I would not be as excited for Sand Power had I not loved Gara as much as I did in Naruto. Uh, Sand Power, awesome. Miss All Sunday with the Flower pa Flower Power. I almost said Flower Plower. Um, flower Power is not what I was expecting at all. I expected her to have a devil fruit, but she could make any part of her body bloom off anything. Is there limits to that? Like, so it clearly is no limits on living, living creatures. Like she could, I still love, she had to have killed Pell. Can you guys confirm that? Cause I was a little, I mean, she had two hands grab him by the feet to keep him down. Two hands growing out of his like shoulder blades back pulling his head back 
and two other hands like wrapped around his arm you know like like imagine just something holding you trapping you like a you know like you would be dead so it's like he has a crazy power oh my god i want to i'm very curious and miss double fingers and mr one's power as well very curious very curious um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions of these episodes, as well as eight episodes or one week ahead. Um, subscribe, click that bell, all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.